but let's just um let's castle so we've been playing quite a few games um in preparation for the over the board tournament in a few weeks time and i'm very uncomfortable with the results that we've had at the minute because we've been really outperforming the prediction which is like one and a half points out of four games we're taking a buy in the first round so we're going to be physically playing four games so the performance games we're playing uh, is just out of the four games and we haven't been doing too bad but i know for me it's the reality of playing over the board is totally different to playing online so i'm gonna well I, I don't have any control over who i'm playing on the system but um i'm currently provisionally rated because i've not played any classical games on on the nhs account so basically we'll just keep going with that and hopefully we'll be facing some higher ones because the question market you know you play higher players and this that and the other to find out where you're currently at I'm not doing it for the rating thing i'm doing it to play stronger players within my remit i'm not wanting to play like 2000 pluses all the time you know because that i'm not going to be facing them in the competition i'm facing under 1700 and i'm only 1300 over the board so the reality is i don't want to be demoralized by getting absolutely wiped out i want to play like a fair game even skills that type of thing and um and see how we get on in the build up to the tournament looks like this player's left the game okay so we're going to go in the sites and um, we're currently 1834 with a question mark on we've only played six games i think but we're really wanting genuinely we're wanting to play stronger players um, obviously not ones that are going to wipe the floor with us completely because that is unrealistic as well and um, what we want to find is an evenly matched game where they just kind of pipping us to the post type thing and we're having to try and struggle to try and get some advantage in the game at all if anything you know and a slender loss is is good because then at least we you know it's we can work on something but not one where we're getting totally outclassed with some special tactics that are kind of magical and a human wouldn't really play like that. But we're looking for that middle ground of strong play, fair play, and looking to really learn from it and take it forward. Our goal is one and a half. Yeah, again, I think that is a little bit high for the level of play that we're going into. Got to remember... I was in the minus section, you know, like the under 1400 section um, last year and the years before. And so I've now just decided to bite the bullet and go in and play in the major section. We played one major um, section um, competition and we achieved the goal there, which was two draws. And so that was um, brilliant. That was to the wire as well because that was it took it into the last game so we got a draw in the last game and then we've done an exercise to find out well what's the prediction for this next game the under 1700 section and it turns out that when we played that we actually won three get you know we got three points and it's like whoa that is a bit extreme so we said well let's be realistic and half that and now i'm looking at it i'm going well, realistically, even that is a bit strong because I either have to get three draws or get a win and a draw out of the four games. So that's a lot of pressure. And I'm thinking to myself, let's depressurize it and just play some evenly matched games with them having a little bit of oomph to them to make us work for the games. And that's the pressure that's the type of game pressure that we look i'm looking for um in terms of being able to enjoy the games and feel like i'm i'm actually giving them a bit of a go you know so it's not about the winning it's about the performance how am i performing and winning all these games does not that's to me is not a good a reflection of my performance because you know i am not that good you know they're making me look that good so here we want to test ourselves and see if we get some half decently 
maybe get somebody higher than us because we don't have any control over the rating ranges here so it's 500 plus or minus 500 so we'll click any any color and basically 45 minutes 15 seconds let's jump in let's go with that I keep looking at that one I can't see anything else some fancy waiting move I'm not really interested in let's just see if we can make this work I believe in it if they're slightly better then they're slightly better and we'll look at the recalculation towards the evaluation and that's it jobs done well played yes so looking at this game basically the only real bad maneuver out of it was the decision about the night going for the night and on looking on looking at it on paper it was that simple pawn push here stopping the knight from jumping to this position and it would have kept it even stevens at that point so the simplest of maneuvers would have saved us and we did mention these things but in my head i'm just thinking well, somehow they're gonna dance around and come around the back and and just end up taking the pawn anyway but I should have just chilled a little bit more rather than looking to try and fashion a position that really didn't work so yeah that was a really nice game that's the type of game that I'm wanting to play strong play for my level strong play for my level it's even you know and it's it's fair and uh, yeah you're having to think you're not getting blown out of the water at the same time you're having to think about your position what potentially can happen etc and any advantages that you can take in the game well, that was game one great game okay on to game two same type of position thing again ah oh, wow i think i'll resign i don't think i'm going to Whoever this one i don't think there's much fancy dancing to be done here yeah okay i'll resign that one Whew, i'm gonna take a big break so that's number two that's a nice loss so two losses at the moment so we're going in we need to either win one of the games or draw one of the well we need to win and draw to actually get the one and a half in the next two games Okay, on to game three. So currently on two losses at the moment. This is more realistic. I'm very happy. Okay, so let's go diving in. 45 minutes, 15 seconds increment. This is the type of play we need to be having before the tournament gives us something to work on. And let's just push and block the pawn. Let's develop the knight supporting the pawn. Bring the bishop here, uh, as usual, maybe to stop the knight, they may still be brave enough and go for it anyway. This castle, they'll have the option of going for it, but they're not going for it at the minute, so let's just open as we do, let's attack the bishop like we do. Knight jumps in. Oh, there's not. Let's take. Do like jumping the knight here. Oh, they're coming for the free pawn. Let's bring the queen up, supporting. Now they're looking to kind of squish the area, get the queen here, going for the cheapy, that sort of stuff. Not the bright back. But we can attack because the knight is supporting the pawn. So we may as well just gently push onto this pawn here, see what it's doing. Let's attack their knight. Maybe they take, maybe they don't. Take with the pawn. Just try and get rid of these pawns in the center if we can. Got two pieces on there. I'm bring the bishop here, doing something. Let's do this. Don't need to move so fast. Both of us have moved fast in this opening. 47, 47 minutes so it gets rid of a protector of the pawn knight takes 
don't really need to take do we can we bring the queen here can we push not really because the queen's got no protection to bring the queen here the pawn's just going to push down onto the queen let's do this pawn's going to push no okay so we can drop back with the queen just queen supporting the queen is then going to come we bring this rook here i suppose sorry this rook uh, does the knight have attack on the king queen nope okay get ready to bring the rook here because they'll be tripling up doesn't really want his queen there so maybe this queen's going to come does that first moves there gets the rook behind no all right so we can hit the knight he does take pawn takes queen does have a spot here attacking our king we bring the rook here first i'll bring the rook here first it's probably just going to move the knight out of the way now Not seeing the joy in this. Okay, so the queen's gone there for the centre. It's taken itself off of the rook as well. Do, do that. In the rook opposite the queen. Going back again. So we can push this time. The knight's just going to move this time rather than going. Maybe there. No, maybe to here. Doesn't want to block his rook. Or he could even go here because the queen's supporting. Or the queen could just attack the. Queen could attack the queen. Queen is protected, so we'll be able to take the knight off. So he's actually gone block the pawn. Do we take or do we push? If we push, it's not very good, is it? Take, it brings the knight back into the game. Push. I think pushing here to try and do this, but we'll see. Simply takes, okay. Try and double. Got method of madness, but try and double and hit the queen, but he's just going to get his rook here in time else could attack their queen takes the rook off of there though doesn't it? oh what have we done don't attack the queen Knights at all with their forks. What's he done? Wants to keep protecting the knight so a queen goes back. I said. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Again, mm. else do we have getting the rooks trapped back in the pawn?
Or we've not even broke the 45 minutes, both of us. Going for some sort of... Let's see. I feel like I'm getting trapped here. I just... <laughs> uh... So attacking the rook. Knight's got no place to come back to, so I'm going to have to come here to try and do this. Got one, two. We attacked, he's got like 50 million. This is one of those non-attacking positions. It looks nice, but there's no meat on the bones. It's so well defended around the back. I feel like I'm totally over... over pressing. I'm trying to make space for the knight. But the pawn's just going to get taken. Don't think we have the time. Oh, and he's got the rook. Do have this nice position if the rook does take, because then we've got a fork on the queen and the king. I think the knight will take. Does take. Got a check on the king, could do that. Looking for a rook move. Uh, he's not doing. Can't push the pawn because he gets the rook. Could bring the queen here, but he takes the pawn. Swing the rook across, attacking this pawn. It's round the back with his rook. Hmm. What to do? Is it a weighted move now? Rook comes, takes, takes. Push pawn, push pawn. Try a weighted move. Push, push. Looking for this to put back on the king, give them some motion. Going to be looking to exchange the rook off, isn't he? I'd feel it's favourable because I've got two linked past pawns. The rook does that, we take his queen takes. Got plays play down here and What do we do? Do we actually just go like this? A 
looks like it would be sick, mind you. Yeah, yeah. No, if he did do that, though, the queen just comes here. My on about. Hmm. As you can see, I'm not doing too much talking in this. I'm just trying to focus on. So they have done that. So this looks like it's going to be a mate. We may have our first victory. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So we'll chalk that down. A nice win. So we're on two losses, one win. So the next game really needs to be a draw or a win, but that's surpassing the thing. So we have to try and push for a draw, if anything. They've asked for a rematch, but I'm not doing rematches. We're trying to play different people. Nice game. Okay, going in on the last game. So this game is the pressure game. We're on two losses, one win. It's more realistic now. It feels more realistic. First two games, really good, really strong. Last game, we seem to gain advantage. This one's aborted. Okay, let's search for somebody else. So this game here, we want to well, try and eke out a draw if we can. and Or go for a win if there's a win. Let's push this through. Again, ignore these rating things on here. I don't have any choice choice over who I'm playing it is the under 1700 area that we're in for the over the board tournament to play anybody this is the last game Let's see if we can do something is the longest opening I think we're in trouble come on mantra help me out But the signal's still on. Maybe they're doing some sort of streaming thing and talking through the opening that they're selecting. Or maybe they're just eating the dinner.
So anyway, while we're waiting for this opponent to move, currently on two losses, one win. We are searching for these stronger plays, stronger games, stronger players, um, real people. Um, don't like any of this um, computer type maneuvers. So the first two games really good. I felt they were really smooth, um, more realistic, really strong players in my eyes, you know, based on the level that we're at. So the opponents made a move. So I'm a bit worried about this game now because they've taken so long to actually get started. I feel like I'm actually going to resign this game. I'll continue it on anyway. It's just based on my experience. They've offered a draw. Um, yeah, this is not going to bode well for me, I don't think. We'll continue anyway, but mark it here. I've said this is not going to go well for us. Okay. So I'm going to bring the knight out, attacking the pawn, and decline the draw. See if we can play it out. They took absolute ages to start, and now they're moving quickly. So it's... And they've resigned. Chalk that as a win. That'll work for me. Obviously, I'm not going to chalk it as a win. So we're going to go and play the next game. Okay, there was something weird with that one. Thankfully, they've resigned. So this is the last game and uh, we're looking for strong play again as usual we're on two two losses one win and to hit the target we've got to achieve a draw or uh, well a draw in the next game or if we want to try and surpass it if there's a win a win available we'll go for the win so we'll take develop the knight Tonight, now we push the pawn, get the bishop out, that's all. Trying to resist all the temptations that they're offering, which is like the queen being there. So now we can bring the bishop here. Usually, hunt down the queen through the x-ray. Because the queen wants the b-pawn. See what the bishop's doing. Just take, take with the bishop on the queen. Double the pawns, although it might not be a good place to double the pawns because it's putting pressure towards this area. One of those situations. Don't really want to do it. Um, I'm going to attack the bishop. It's still opening up pieces around the king, isn't it? Going to take. Going to take. Queen's going to be jumping here, so we may as well push this pawn. Going to want to get his rooks and stuff powering down onto this pawn. Right. Let's bring the bishop here. If we can get the king up, maybe try and get these across. Go here. So that's what they're going to be plumping for. Yeah, they're, st they're still going for it. Still going for it. Right, okay. Let's get the... Maybe not just yet, because he could have taken this pawn. Ugh. Let's push this. Back in the rook, making his way across to the other side of the board as well. Let's 
Seeing attacking the bishop. Relentless. A little bit good, aren't you? Speed at which they're moving as well. I mean, their ratings are like, what is it? 10 hundred, 1,900, 1,200. Highest one is this 1,300 they've got here. Very pretty good. Very pretty good. For the pawn here, or have the rook somehow. Pretty good. Can I get to his king? Nope. Where that? What not? Little bit good, aren't you? Little bit good. Been a bit too fast for me. Or majority of this side. A little bit good. Ooh, that's going to hurt, isn't it? Getting all the pawns. I'll check on my king as well.
<sighs> and that was game four. And that was a win. So that was two losses and two wins. So we surpassed the prediction. Playing, to me, I believe some tough players um, today. That was a lot different to the other game in the other series where um, it felt... Well, we got advantages in the games. The games were interesting. The games were good, you know, um, but we kept getting advantages in the game. So we we were surpassing the total like anything. And we were, ser were searching for stronger play. As we said, not computerized stronger play where we're just getting blown out of the water or playing GMs. We're playing players of our level and it's really enjoyable to play. The first two losses were, again, enjoyable. Some learning things from there. I mean, that's the best way to actually develop in my games, especially in preparation for the over-the-board tournament. And the target, I've said, is a little bit strong, really. You know, one and a half. But it gives me something to work towards. Um, gives me that motivation. And, again, we've kind of proof to ourselves... Um, it probably maybe is a realistic target, but in zero 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 zeros in with quality games as well, I can live with that. You know, um, if there's things that the if the opponent was playing just better than me, then they but they were playing better than me. If they took me to the end game like in the first two games, and I mistimed or misplaced my moves, yes, I can beat myself up afterwards for not using the mantra properly. Um, but then I want to try and avoid doing that in the game. I want to really try and utilize the mantra as best possible. If it's just a small tweak in the end game, I've got to look at that small tweak and make the appropriate move. So yeah, really good, really good session again today. Um, I'm going to take a break from the sessions for a few days, but yeah, that was a, a good one to finish on for now.